It's easy to find and download full text articles using the University of Memphis Libraries website. To get started, you'll want to begin at the University of Memphis homepage. In the menu in the top right corner, you'll find options for university services, including libraries. Open the Libraries menu and click on University Libraries. Here you will be at the Libraries homepage. To begin your search for a full text article, all you have to do is plug in information into the search box. We call this Quick Search. So you can enter in a title of a book or an article. You can enter in an author. You can type in keywords or any combination of these things. Let's try childhood obesity. Make sure you're spelling right. And school lunch. I'm going to press enter. And then I'll be able to look at my results. As we can see, I have 52,940 results. This is a lot of information, but it helps us feel assured that our needs are covered. I have a variety of options on the first page alone, including an academic journal article, a government document, more academic journal articles, and a book. as well as a video from the Associated Press. One of the benefits of using Quick Search is you get this variety of options in terms of resources. So you know you're getting the broadest possible results. However, you can use the limiters on the left-hand side to get closer to what you are looking for. For example, if you know you're looking for an academic journal article, then you can click on the academic journal article format limiter on the left. Now we're down to just under 19,000. I can continue to limit according to publication date or subject or publisher, etc. But I feel pretty confident in my first page of results, and I'm going to start doing some reading. Here's an article called Do School Lunches Contribute to Childhood Obesity? that was published in the Journal of Human Resources in the summer of 2009. If I click on the title, I can get more information, including the author, subject terms that let me know more about what this article contains, and an abstract. An abstract is just a brief description of the article. This is extremely useful because this means you don't have to read the whole article to know if it might be useful for your research. I can also see the abstract on the search results page if I scroll up and on under the page options menu on the right hand side of the screen. I can change my result format page options from brief to detailed. This way, I'll get the most information possible in my search results. So let's say I'm interested in the access to fresh fruits and vegetables and school lunches policy analysis. I've read the abstract and determined that this could be very useful for me. I see that the full text is attached. I can click here or I can open up my results and open my full text here. Before we go and look at the full text, check out the tools on the right hand side. I have the option to save this record in my Google Drive. I can create a folder if I have an EBSCO account. I can print it. I can email it to myself. I can save it to a folder on my computer. I can export it to RefWorks. I can also share a permalink. If I have access to this link, then that means that I will be able to get back to the article without researching for my keywords. I also have citation information, 
which is a computer-generated citation according to various style guides. This is a useful guide for me, but I know that because this is computer-generated, I also want to make sure that I'm following all the appropriate rules in my style guide, that there aren't any computer glitches that I need to correct. Okay, let's check out the full text. I'm going to click on the PDF full text link, and my journal article will open up inside a frame in EBSCO. I were at home, I might have the option to sign in using my University of Memphis ID and password. Keep in mind that you will have to sign in using your University of Memphis password and ID anytime you are off campus. Here I have my full article. I can read it. I can also download it. When I hover over the top of the frame, the down arrow indicates that I can download the article. Here I can save my article to my computer and that way I have access to it whenever I want. Different databases may look different, but in general they all have the same or similar options and information. Feel free to try multiple databases to see what results are the most accurate for what you need. Some people might find that the number of results they get in Quick Search is overwhelming, in which case it might help to try a different database that's more specific to your topic or discipline. And as always, if you ever need assistance of any kind, you can use our Ask a Librarian resources. You can find these within Quick Search in the top navy blue toolbar where you will be given opportunities to chat with us, email us, text us, call us, or set up a research consultation.